Hello YouTube and welcome again to Destination Lego and welcome to this unboxing video for the new Lego Star Wars UCS Sandcrawler set, set 75059. So this is purely going to be an unboxing video so that we can see what's actually in this box um, and the full review will follow in approximately a week or so I would suspect. So let's get this box opened up and have a look what's inside. Okay, so before we do that, just a quick look at the box itself. So we've just seen the front, so here is the rear of the box. And this obviously shows um, some of the, well, some of them, yes, actually some of the many functions um, that's on this particular set. Um, next thing to mention, it is a big box. We can see here, actually, Ethan, if you come into the shop, Say hello. Sorry, Ethan's here with me again today. Hello. You can kind of see here, next to my six-year-old, the size of this box. It is big, isn't it, Ethan? Same size as me. Yeah, yeah not quite, but it is. It is big. Um, yeah, that's round the other side. Right, if I tip it that way, even tip it forward that way. We can see the end. We can see all the One, mini two, figures. Three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen? Did you count that right? Hold on. Yep. Thirteen, 13 uh, minifigures in there. Dimensions, actually, yeah. Dimensions of the sand crawler itself. So it is 24 centimetres high by 46 centimetres in length. So it is obviously a very large set as well. And the one thing that did strike me when I went to the Lego store to um, get this, the actual box isn't that heavy um, compared to some of these other UCS sets. I actually lifted this down from quite a high shelf. I had to kind of really look at it. So it obviously, it obviously wasn't an empty box, but um, I had to kind of check to see if it was open and if there weren't some of the bags missing. What do you think? It's not that heavy, is it? No. Not for a big set. Lift yeah. it higher. Yeah, see, my little six-year-old, or my big six-year-old, Look at him, right above his head, he's lifting that. Put it there. Um, but yeah, there we go. So, like I said, now that we've had a look at the box, let's get it opened up. Okay, guys, so here we go. Let's break the seal. Okay, so. Ah! Oh. All right, let's open it up like this so that um, you can see inside. There we go. So what do we see? Well, first of all, we see lots of bags and a large white box at the back there. So let's get all the bags out. I don't know what's in there yet, Ethan. Are we going to open it? Well, yeah, we need to see what's in it. So we have... Hold on, let me back. Well, there's the instructions. Loads of stickers. Stick, well, not that many for a big set, but there are stickers in there. Uh, as you can see there. So we'll have a closer look at that in a second. Right, with this, right, we've got a separate box here, which is a little bit unusual. Um, which one do I remember? I remember the Superstar Destroyer. 19 stickers. Right on. The Superstar Destroyer came in four separate boxes. Three boxes for the actual Lego, and there was a separate box for the instructions. That's obviously got Lego in it, but I need to understand why it's in a separate box. Listen, that. So there we go. So there Maybe it's a no bag. Maybe it's a what? Maybe it's a no bag. I don't know. So, hold on a second. So there's a lot of bags there. Let's just move this camera down a bit. I can lift this one higher. Can you? Okay, let's just zoom this in a little bit more. Okay, give me an Ethan, let's have a look what's in it. The mystery continues. Let's have a look, where's the seals on this? Ah, it's not seals, it's one of these ones. Can I do it? It's one of the ones where we have to push it, be careful. Can, I, can you start it off for me? Quite difficult to do some of these. Down pretty well. Yeah, it's a bit strange. I don't quite know why they've done separate bags. Let's show everyone. 
So there we go. You can see hopefully in there there's separate bags. Like I said, I don't there's three. know why. Thirteen. I don't know why they're separate. It doesn't make, it doesn't make much sense, but there we go. Now this is the highest number, 15. Fifteen, wow. So anyway guys, as you can see, there are a lot of bags which you would expect from a set of this size. Okay guys, the next thing I want to do is get these instructions out. So let's just cut the seal on this. He says. Well, first off we have obviously our sticker sheet which we've already seen. I'm um, sorry, so that's there. There's the stickers. And we have one massive instruction manual. So it's just one manual. Again, which is, uh, I wouldn't say it's unusual, but sets of this size. And a fat one. Yeah, it is a fat one, you're right. Um, I'm saying that the, um, again, I'm thinking of the Superstar Destroyer, that came with one, but it was massive bound. Um, yeah, metal bound um, manual, but this is big, huge. You see there, that is a lot of pages. In fact, let's have a look, are they numbered? Yep, so we have a total of, if we can get that to zoom in, 298 pages to get to the end. See? So let's have a quick look what else we've got in the back of this. We've got that. Well done. So we have the inventory. There are some of the functions and features on the set. And we've got the R2D2, which I also have. We've got the B-Wing, which I also have. Uh, we've got the Ewok Village, which I also have. And we've got the X-Wing, which I also have. Um, so they're obviously advertising some of the other UCS sets there. Um, and we've got in the front here, what have we got in the front here? Some sort of, oh, about the sand crawler. Okay, cool. So we have information about the sand crawler in the front and sand crawler facts. What is okay, that? so that's interesting as well. That's from the original film by the looks of it. That's from the original Star Wars film, Ethan. So that's obviously, um, yeah, the crew there working on the original, obviously small scaled sand crawler. Um, and about the design team as well. So some good information in there. The only thing, again, so what I quite like with the UCS sets is you normally get a plate, a name plate with the facts on it. And I believe this one doesn't come with that. So again, I don't like that because I actually liked having the nameplate uh, because these are mainly for, sh for display. Um, but anyway, that's me. Let me know what you think. So that's the instructions. Okay guys, so that's all the bags laid out in front of you now. So I'll just quickly run through what we've got. Um, so there's a total of 16 um, different bag numbers, but obviously some have got multiple bags. So Bag ones, there are two. Bag twos, there are two. Bag threes, there's one. Bag four, there's one. Bag five, there's two. Bag six, there's two. Bag seven, there's two. Bag eight, there's two. Bag nine, there's one. Bag ten, there's one. Bag eleven, there's one. Bag twelve, there's one. Bag thirteen, there's one. Bag fourteen, there's one. Bag fifteen, there's two. And bag sixteen, there's two. So in total, that's a total of 24 separate bags. Um, but obviously inside some of the larger bags, like that for example, um, I don't know if you can make that out, but there is another bag with the small pieces inside that bag. Um, and you're going to have that, so although there's 24 main bags in some of them, um, there will be obviously the multiple smaller bags as well. Now that's not... There we go, focusing. Okay guys, there we go, that's my unboxing of the LEGO Star Wars Sandcrawler UCS set, set 75059. 
Um, let me know what you think of this set. Obviously it's not built or reviewed yet, but you get an idea of the scale and size of the set. Um, and again, one thing that's frustrating in the UK, we don't have the piece count on the box, um, but off the top of my head there's 3,200 and something pieces in this. Can't remember exactly without going into the Lego store and taking a look. Um, but yeah, approximately 3,200, um, I believe, pieces in this set. So it is a mammoth set. And I am looking forward to getting it built. Anyway, guys, please go ahead, give the video a thumbs up. Um, yeah, thanks, Ethan. Um, like I said, comments, feedbacks, questions, always welcomed. And if you haven't done so already, let's just put a bit of light out there. Describe to Destination Lego. Describe to Destination Lego, absolutely, Ethan. Destination Lego, please subscribe. Subscribe. Yeah. Well done. Subscribe. Well done. There we go, guys. Ethan said it, so please, that makes it even more powerful. If you haven't done so, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel. It's fast becoming mine and Ethan's channel. There you go, that's brilliant. So, yeah, thanks very much, and we look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheese!